His rich dad explained that life doesn't teach you with words, but by pushing you around. Some people let life push them around, others get angry and push back against their boss or their loved ones. But some people learn a lesson from it, and in fact welcome life pushing them around because it means they need to learn something. Those who don't learn that lesson spend their lives blaming everyone else and waiting for a big break or decide to play it safe and never risk, or win, big. It is not so much the lack of technical information that holds us back, but more the lack of self-confidence. One ownership or control of systems, and two, the ability to lead people. The word emotion stands for energy in motion. Accounting, financial literacy, or the ability to read numbers and evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of any business, investing, the science and strategies of money making money, understanding markets, the science of supply and demand, and market conditions, and the law, tax advantages and protections. Often, they mindlessly repeat what they have been told. Ideas such as diversify or your home is an asset. Your home is your biggest investment. You get a tax break for going into greater debt. Get a safe job. Don't make mistakes. Don't take risks. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. This quote from futurist Alvin Toffler mirrors what Rich Dad told me two decades ago, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. It is secret number three of the rich. That secret is, mind your own business. The point is that we can never know everything beforehand, and we often only learn things when we need to learn them. That is why I recommend that you try new things and expect disappointment, but always have a mentor standing by to coach you through the experience. Many people never start projects simply because they don't have all the answers. You will never have all the answers, but begin anyway. One of my friends always says, Many people will not head down the street until all the lights are green. That is why they don't go anywhere. You see, true learning takes energy, passion, and a burning desire. Anger is a big part of that formula, for passion is anger and love combined. When it comes to money, most people want to play it safe and feel secure so passion does not direct them. Fear does. So is that why they'll take jobs with low pay? I asked. Yes, said Rich Dad. Some people say I exploit people because I don't pay as much as the sugar plantation or the government. I say the people exploit themselves. It's their fear not mine. Robert asks his students how many of them can make a better hamburger than McDonald's. Most raise their hands. But the reason McDonald's is making millions and they aren't is because McDonald's is excellent at business systems. More money will not solve the problem if cash flow management is the problem. Those are my deep-seated emotional reasons. What are yours? If they are not strong enough, then the reality of the road ahead may be greater than your reasons. Remember, all con men are nice people. If they were not being nice by telling you what you want to hear, you would not listen to them. The love of money is the root of all evil. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. Even though people receive a tax deduction for interest on mortgage payments, 
they pay for all their other expenses with after-tax dollars, even after they pay off their mortgage. How did you feel waiting in line to see me, wants to get hired and wants to ask for more money? Terrible, I said. If you choose to work for money, that is what life will be like, said Rich Dad. And how did you feel when a Mrs. Martin dropped three dimes in your hand for three hours of work? I felt like it wasn't enough. It seemed like nothing. I was disappointed, I said. And that is how most employees feel when they look at their paychecks especially after all the tax and other deductions are taken out. At As I said earlier, if a person cannot master the power of self-discipline, it is best not to try to get rich. When it comes to money, there are many people desperate enough to tell and sell you anything, just to get your money. A job is really a short-term solution to a long-term problem.